Hello everyone, today I would like to share with you a Marantz PM500 DC amplifier from 1980. It's a very classic uh, vintage amplifier and uh, it has uh, four inputs, phono 1, phono 2, tuner and auxiliary uh, tape, which you can choose tape monitor 1 and 2 and uh, uh, it has a four channel out and uh, this is low filter mono and equalizer defeat five band equalizer from 50 hertz to 12.8 kilohertz and very nice uh, uh, LED uh, DBI meter here uh, here you have a loudness speaker selection one and two power on off volume control and this is the balance build quality is excellent if you see uh, it's a weight around 14 13 14 kilos very heavy and uh, very nice uh, sound quality I'll show you from the back side and then we play uh, some audio on it to see that how this uh, amplifier from 1980 still performs so this is the back end power output is 50 watt per channel and uh, uh, usually if you just uh, uh, connect uh, in system a speaker is the 8 ohms but if you do the combination you can achieve from 4 to, uh, to 16 ohms impedance with the system a and b and um, uh, here you have a voltage selector 110 and 220 so uh, it can be used in uh, uh, different uh, countries like United States and Europe also in Japan as well because uh, they have a different voltage system you can select with this and you have the fuse here 1.25 ampere 220 to 240 volt rating if some short circuit that will blow up this is a sort of uh, uh, protection and uh, you have also uh, DIN connections for the input and RCA uh, tulip connections on the back side uh, for the playback of the cassette and auxiliary tuner and phono for phono also here we have a ground connection for phono uh, one and phono two uh, so yeah that how it uh, look like from the back side all the connections now we hook up with the speakers and some audio source and try to see that how this uh, vintage amplifier sounds like so for this sound test of this Marantz PM500 DC amplifier, I choose the Bose Freestyle speakers. They are from 1989. Uh, 6 ohms impedance and uh, 60 watt output rating. And the music will be played back on my favorite uh, Philips CD781 disc player, which is equipped with the uh, TDA1541 deck chips. And it's over sampled with a filter of the chip uh, SAA7220 uh, this uh, model of uh, Philips uh, produce an excellent uh, uh, digital to analog conver conversion very rich uh, frequencies uh, mid-range and the low end highs are very balanced so uh, let's play to see uh, Without equalizer, not equalizer.
on now. Low pass filter. I think you guys have heard the the sonic response is generated by this uh, Barons PM 500 DC amplifier. Now it's time to open it up and uh, see what sort of circuitry it has inside. So uh, I open up the Barons to to show you because some of my subscriber uh, who are technically skilled they wanted to see. The, how the old amplifiers they were built uh, a piece of advice if you don't have any elect electronic background education or experience I don't advise you to open any equipment because it can be fatal uh, so uh, you see this is a power supply very good one and uh, four diodes over there is the bridge rectifier converting AC uh, into DC current you have for filtration here a very big 8200 microfarad capacitors electrolytic capacitor at the rating of 50 volt so they filter the DC very purely so and uh, then it uh, 
follow to the circuit this part is a uh, basically a preamp you know uh, all the inputs are coming here then they are amplified and selected with these two selection switches here i hope you can see it yeah those selection switches which is uh, basically they are connected and you use you, you select the input it's a tape or tape 2 phono or the auxiliary and then that is a a little bit amplified at the buffer driver level and feed into the main amplifier circuit which is here the heart of the heart of the whole uh, uh, amplifier they are uh, NEC uh, transistor four of them uh, which are connected with is a heat sink a long heat sink to AC 62681 they are made by NEC Japan and uh, yeah uh, they are connected on the back side and uh, you can view from there basically so they are they are the they are the heart of uh, amplification of uh, uh, this amplifier many japanese manufacturer they were using a 2sc681 uh, transistor they are npn and uh, because uh, their cutoff frequency is up to 40 megahertz and uh, they can generate uh, maximum 100 watt uh, but you have to uh, it's a collector uh, maximum collector power dissipation but you need to increase the current level up to 10 ampere but uh, if you use a uh, parallel then you can achieve with a low voltage input uh, 50 watt so uh, for four channels uh, it has a four uh, uh, c2681 transistor connected with the heat sink and uh, uh, that, that how they go and uh, provide the output uh, very excellent uh, audio quality generated by this NPN uh, transistors still they are available because most of the devices in the 80s uh, a high-end devices especially they were using it because of the uh, high frequency rating and the low distortion uh, they were very famous still on the ebay those transistors are available and they they really don't go bad basically what goes bad in the amplifiers are all electronic circuitry which are these uh, electrolytic capacitors with the time they get dried out and uh, people keep on using it because they lose the capacitance and all the voltage and the current rating changes in the circuitry and ultimately damage the other components around a very excellent build quality and this is uh, the equalizer board you can see uh, all the five channels uh, they have equalized with this, this uh, equalized with this board and uh, they have uh, added uh, as a feedback of variable resistor so same frequency you have to inject back and uh, adjust in order to to uh, receive the variation either low or high so this is the board for that one here you have a behind that volume control this is the balance control and these are for the input selection a high quality high current relays used here uh, to switch from the system one and system two uh, system one and system two in this amplifier is referred to the speakers so it is a four channel so two channels are system one and two are system two so this high current uh, excellent uh, relay is uh, doing their job when you are selecting all four of them or A or B that is done uh, by this relay so that how uh, Marans look like from inside excellent build quality high quality uh, electronic uh, components have been used very excellent shielded uh, transformer and uh, that how uh, these amplifiers uh, were produced in the past that's why they are famous to to generate excellent uh, sonic responses after all those years so i hope you like this video and uh, if you have any questions or concerns please don't hesitate to leave in the comment thank you very much until next time bye bye